Uh, hello guys! My name is Mama, and this will be a big tutorial. Well, not a very big one, but I'm gonna explain to you uh, Half-Life Advanced Effects, which is, uh, yeah, pretty cool. You can do a lot of stuff with it. So, yeah, first of all, I'm just gonna Google, Google it, so you know, uh, you guys know how to get it. So just uh, type it in, first link, and there we go. You can uh, download the, the newest version, which is currently 7, but uh, yeah, should be some updates. So download the newest version. And also, if you scroll down, download the Cinema 4D plugin, the import and the export plugin. Yeah, so uh, once you've downloaded all the stuff, you get these three files. So I'm just going to unzip them all. Right there. So we got all the stuff. And yeah, so basically, uh, we need to install those two plugins and we need to get Half Life Advanced Effects going. So I'm going to install these two plugins. So if I double click on them, they'll both open. And there we go. We need these files. So I'm just going to open my computer and browse to my Cinema 4D folder. So that's uh, C program files. Next on, I'm gonna go to plugins and drag them in. So we just drag these in. I already got them here, so oh, we won't do that. All right. So once that's uh, set, you're uh, yeah, we're gonna launch Half-Life Fast Effects. So if I open if I open this this folder, uh, you will see a lot of stuff. Uh, I'm just gonna click uh, double click it, and you we don't want to check updates because it won't work, the updater is bugged, I don't know, but somehow it cannot uh, check for updates. Uh, so, we're going to do this for Counter-Strike Source, so we need to do a little bit different. So, instead of File and Launch, we're going to do Tools, Developer, Custom Loader. And this is just, yeah, we need to set all these uh, parameters to get it, get it working. So, the hook DLL, they mean the AFX hook source right there, so I'm just going to browse. Go to my desktop, select it, and select source, because we're going to do it for Counter-Strike Source. And the program path will be like selecting where your C-Strike is. So I'm just going to see Program Files, uh, Steam, Steam Apps, the username, Counter-Strike Source, and then click on Half-Life 2.x. Now, this is all set and ready, and we're going to launch it. So if you press OK, uh, half level Advanced Effects will launch a Counter-Strike Source and it will enable a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, yeah, stuff we can do with it. So first of all, we're going to need a demo, a Source TV demo, and I got some here. I got some empty Source TV demos in my uh, pack, my uh, giveaway pack on my, uh, on my channel, so if I go to my... Uh, channel and click on giveaways and there we go in handy pack and it contains uh, yeah it contains uh, some empty maps so if I go here I got the inferno which is also in the pack and we're gonna open it and we are going to pause it immediately so wait for it, it yeah it's not responding and such but just wait for it and it will uh, respond soon there he is there we go so I'm just going to close this, and well, I don't know the commands, uh, you know, like they're not in my head, so I need to search for them. So I'm just going to YouTube, going to uh, the handfree channel, which is the guy who made the tutorial who explained it to me, this one. And in this description are the commands. So we're going to copy and paste them. So I just copied it right there, and we're going to do tick zero, just just press zero and press go to. So now we're on tick zero, and then we're going to click edit, new, player commands. And I already got some right here, so I'm just going to duplicate them. So I'm going to delete these two. So new player commands, and I'm just going to type uh, time tick, and yeah, because this is the time when the, the the smooth must happen. So I'm just going to press 10 and then time you stick. I'm just going to call this uh, begin. 
I'm gonna paste the command in here and beware host frame rate 90 is the highest amount uh, for exporting it so don't mess with it just copy and paste it and I can set the name of it so I'm just gonna call this tutorial here we go and I'm gonna press OK I'm gonna do a new one so play commands time use tick now let's say about a uh, thousand and let's see there we go Murph cam exports top copy it and we're gonna paste it so press OK and now this is set and done I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna hit save and press OK and I can click stop and then you press play so right now it went to tick, uh, tick 10 and there we go a thousand so I just just paused it and as you can see if I alt up and I go to my uh, there we go you go to your C strike channel and you can see there is uh, inferno of a tutorial dot bvh this is the file I just created uh, we just typed it in so we can just stop the demo right now and go to cinema 4d so close this up and launch cinema 4d alright so first of all you're gonna need some 3d maps and yeah those are like yeah, they are not hard to get you can go to uh, I believe Clay, uh, Hanfried got them too let's see uh, go to his channel and then um, tutorials there it is oh, there we go how to create CSS maps so this is a tutorial how to create them but he also got uh, download links I thought he had download links well Clayman does Clayman 90 um, Cinema 4D. Oh, 4D. There we go, source maps. And in the description, there are a lot of uh, maps you can use. But we're using Inferno, and I already got them. So I'm going to browse to my uh, to my stuff. Let's see. Um, Inferno. And I'm just going to open it up. So just download them and open the scenes up in Cinema 4D. It's going to take a while. It's going to give you this error. But never mind. It's there. So you need to wait a bit because these, these maps are huge. Literally thousands of objects are in here. Wow, it's lagging. Not right there. Oh, yeah, there we go. I'm in a tree. Alright, so we got Inferno right here. So, oh, I'm going to uh, plugins and as you can see, we got Cinema 4D. Two half life advanced effects and half life advanced effects to Cinema 4D. So, right now we need to get an half life advanced effects uh, file into Cinema 4D. So, I'm going to click this one. And be sure you check this box here 90 degree fix. Uh, yeah, this is this is, uh, something wrong, I don't know, but you need to check it. And select a uh, file. So, I'm just going to my uh, C Strike folder and I'm going to click tutorial.pvh open it up and press OK so right now we got uh, another like null object here and if I open this up there's a camera in it and if I go into the camera we can see this was the position of where we were in game like this is well, yeah this is zero 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 and this is rotated and as you can see it's rotated well because this was the exact same position so right now I'm just going to I'm going in it and I create a new camera I'm gonna slightly move it up and let's just make a really 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 easy smooth so I'm just going a little bit down here we made this up alright so now to get this uh, this stuff going it's just uh, just the usual stuff I got a tutorial on it like a camp path going to my channel if I go to my uh, tutorials we leave it beginner I guess yeah it's a uh, yeah I got quick camp path tutorial this is uh, basically what I'm going to do right now so I'm just going to hit this keyframe button move uh, a lot forward like what need to drag this on because now I can see all the frames uh, I don't know to half and moved forward click keyframe again so now we got this yeah it's pretty cool 
and the last one is going to look to the side a little bit forward and look up I don't know should be cool so right now we got this so yeah this is looking pretty good actually so let's say this is the final smooth you want to do so now we're going to export it so you can change the uh, frame rate if you press Control and D this so Control and D and you can set the frame rate to I don't know 300 or, or something you can change it safely in here and as you can see all these keyframes are changed so be sure first to complete your cam path your smooth and then change it for uh, the FPS so now we're going to select the camera and we're going to do plugins and now we're going to export it so 90 degree fix check it again because we checked it in the importer and I'm just going to save it at my uh, D disk as tutorial. There we go. Save. So right now it's exporting all these 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 uh, frames. So and I believe there are much like 4,000 frames. So I'm just going to pause the video right now, and when it's done, I'll uh, I'll continue. All right. So once it's done, it, this will pop up create it so press OK and if you go to my D right now uh, we're gonna see let's see how I call it tutorial there we go tutorial.pvh and I'm just gonna going to back back to source yep so now first of all once the demo is stopped you need to stop it uh, you go back to edit and just edit these commands well I'm just going back to uh, hand fits video again There we go, and now we type these in. I'll also uh, put these uh, commands in the, in, the, in the description below. Right now, so I'm doing, just going to change it, delete all of it, and change this to, I don't know, 30, I guess? We just change it to 300, and this will get us a really smooth camera uh, motion, because at 300 frames per second, it's still smooth uh, but I'm just going to I'm just going to change the 30 because that's good enough so camp import I'm just going to import tutorial beware it is on my D disk so if you don't have a D just copy and paste the uh, file path in here and after it, I'm going to type this I'm going to type start movie tutorial so I'm going to press OK and we're going to the second command and I'm just going to rename it to end movie and press OK then I'm going to click save and press OK again and I'm going to press play, play but first I'm going to remove all the console stuff so I'm going to say CL draw hood 0 height panel all and now we're good to go so I'm going to play the demo and there we go, it's recording right now. So we just need to wait for it until it's uh, done. Oh wow, it's lagging a lot. Well, my hard disk isn't the fastest hard disk around. So yeah, this is basically it. I, uh, yeah, I, I just, I think I explained it well. If uh, if I didn't, just leave in the comment sections uh, in the comment section. Just leave a question or anything I uh, I didn't point out. I will help you with it. I will uh, I will help you to your goals. Yeah. And it finished. So I'm gonna stop the demo right now. And if you go into if I go into my C strike folder, there will be a lot of TJ files which we just which we just recorded. And there we go. We got us fully successfully smooth. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. Um, I will be going into Half-Life Advanced effects more with like 3D text and 3D objects. But uh, that's for uh, another video. So I hope you guys liked it. 
leave your questions in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys next time.